Hi, I'm Cherie Fogarty, founder of Creating My Best Life and Habit Gratitude for Kids, where we show you how to get happier and more grateful children and be happy and more grateful yourself. This week's super simple tip for busy moms, dads, and families to bring more gratitude and happiness into your life is take a gratitude walk. It is so easy, it doesn't cost anything, there are no excuses. But like with all of our tips, knowing it, doing it are two very different things. Common sense, common practice are often different. So in today, this week, when you hear this tip, do it. Everybody, there's no excuses. There's gotta be a sunny day, and if not, go out on a rainy day. So what is a gratitude walk? A gratitude walk is just that. You go outside of your home. Frankly, you could do it inside too, but let's connect with nature. It's summer right now, but it doesn't matter what season it is. You can, there's always something to notice and that's beautiful in nature. And really connecting with nature has been shown to make us happier. It releases endorphins and all sorts of other things. And being appreciative and grateful just makes you feel good. So we want to encourage our children to do this. Turn off the TV, shut down the phones, don't bring them with you. Just go outside today or sometime this week and take a walk, a beauty walk, a nature walk, a gratitude walk with your children. Notice and appreciate what's around you and feel grateful for it. Whether you're in the mountains, whether you're at the beach, whether you're in the woods, whether you're in the city, it doesn't matter. There is always something to notice and appreciate in what's around you. Um, even sitting on your front, I used to be amazed when I would watch my younger children run around the yard and I would just sit, be sitting on the front steps, actually paying attention to what was around me and just noticing the bees and the flowers and the birds singing and all of those things if you just stop and take a minute to notice them. So you're teaching your kids several things in this case. Even though it's super simple and they don't need to understand everything they're learning, what they're learning is to be mindful, to be present, to be aware. Hugely important in our over-connected, over-scheduled society that they live in, to be quiet, to listen and be aware. And secondly, to appreciate those things. We live in an amazing planet. Whether again, you're in a city, you're in the woods, you're in, in the ocean, this planet and everything on it is amazing. So it's good to appreciate that, to recognize it, to remember and to appreciate it. So just as simple as a gratitude walk is, it accomplishes so many things and it'll make you feel so good. So all you have to do this week, do it every day if you want, but all you have to do is once, one walk, one day this week, rain or shine, get out there and notice and appreciate what's beautiful all around you in nature. And just remember, you might take this, remember t um, toddlers, if you have toddlers, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you've forgotten, think back to when you had toddlers and you would go for a walk outside with them. And maybe you got a little frustrated because you were trying to take a walk and it took them, you know, 20 minutes to walk 20 steps because they'd stop and notice everything, the, the dandelion, the and they would get distracted and look at this and look at that. And really, they could go a few feet and spend hours. That's kind of what we're going for here. It isn't how far we go. It isn't, the idea is not to walk five miles, although feel free to if you want to. The idea is to get out and to notice and to be aware and to connect. And that's what toddlers were so great at is, is really being in that moment and being present. So when you take your gratitude walk this week, if you have toddlers, follow their lead. And if you don't, remember what it was like when you did have toddlers and encourage your children and remember yourself to take your walk like a toddler. So that's it. I hope this tip has served you and now it's your turn. I would love to hear from you. Where are you and where are you gonna take your gratitude walk this week? Will it be in the city? Will it be on vacation? Will it be in your backyard? Anywhere is a great place to take your gratitude walk. So, and then also after you've taken the walk with your family, let us know how it went. What surprised you? What things in nature did you notice that you might not have noticed otherwise? What things were beautiful and um, how did your kids react to it? So that's it, super simple, right? No excuses, knowing it and doing it, two different things. So don't just know it, do it this week. Take your gratitude walk. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your mom or dad network so we can all have happier and more grateful children. And if you want even more tips, tools, and ideas for how to get happier and more grateful children and be happier and more grateful yourself, head over to shereefogarty.com and sign up for email updates. Thanks so much for watching, for being a mom or dad, and for everything you do each and every day to be the best one you can be. And here's to all of us, creating a better world, one child and one family at a time, starting with our own. Thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you next time.